<sighs> All right, well, uh, hey guys, welcome to my um, my new live stream. A uh, hundred hours for a hundred days. I plan on really tackling learning how to play the guitar, self teaching myself how to how to read sheet music, um, which has always been kind of like a big struggle that I've had, and I. I really wanted to ground myself in a challenge to really force myself to get better at playing. Um, I've been practicing for a little bit in the book. I'm already on page like 39. Um, the The book that I got is a uh, the complete edition of um, you know guitar methods. So I've got book one, two, and three in there, and uh, it you know I went through all the bass notes and it's starting to teach me how to play the chords. Um, which is really good. Pinky has been probably the hardest part is adapting to use the pinky, which I'm slowly getting there. Uh, every now and then I step away from the book and I'll, and I'll kind of like play with some sounds. Um, I've also been on the side to just kind of catch you guys up on where I've been and where I want to be. Uh, I made myself a couple flashcards to really teach myself the notes. Uh, so really trying, really trying to tackle it. And, uh, you know, the more support I get, you know, really forcing me to kind of like, you know, hey, come on, <laughs> get it together, do it. Uh, it's kind of what I'm, what I'm hoping for. And so this one may run a little bit longer than an hour, maybe a little shorter. Oh, well, not shorter, but either an hour or just a little bit above, just for the kind of like the catch up. Um, so in my couple practices, I'll probably play what I've been pl sound playing with, like what I like, what I, what I think could probably use a little more finesse. Um, I might have to tune it because it definitely seems like it's some of the notes are not where they used to be. So I'll be doing that with you guys. Um, yeah, so let's get started on my first live stream. I recently bought this uh, this guitar strap. I didn't have one for a little bit, so I've been sitting down mainly. I would like to eventually stand and play. That's the next challenge. Um, I'll adjust this a little bit. I have the best uh, setup. Using a, I'm using a music stand to hold my laptop to be able to live stream because <laughs> I don't have all the right equipment. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta use what you have. So obviously, you know, hopefully, um, in time, maybe I'll have some better equipment, big better setup. You know, maybe more stuff. Um, so let's see. I bought this, uh, this little tuner. So it. It's got the, from what I've learned, um, it's got pitches, so I can set, um, you know, like anywhere between, I think, like 420 up to uh, 480, I think. Um, and I, I did a little research and found that 441, 442 is kind of the, the base average for tuning. So that's kind of where I decided to tune. If, um, if I'm wrong, please... Uh, Please let me know so I can self-correct that and continue continue learning. Um, all right, so let's see. So pretty much, uh, I mean, too, if uh, anyone out there is uh, also trying to learn how to play the guitar, and I mean, you know, there's probably way better sources, more advanced people. Um, but I mean, if you want to go along the journey, I guess you know, welcome to my hundred day, hundred hour challenge. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's supposed to be every now and then because I don't I don't have the notes kind of like memorized. I refer to the book just to make sure. And in the beginning, it does tell me like on the second page, it tells me uh, where to put my finger and kind of like what note it should sound like. Um. So, so it definitely was right. It's definitely out of tune because that's supposed to be an A, and it's almost a B.
guitar I have too is kind of like relatively new, um, maybe like two years old. I've, uh, I remember back in like elementary school, I took like a music appreciation class, and um, I had, you know, learned a little bit of the guitar. And always wanted to kind of like continue having it. Um, had asked my parents for a guitar, and they got me a uh, they got me a guitar, but it was an electronic one that hooks up to a video game. I mean, yeah, I love video games, but I wanted acoustic. There we go. Yeah, so A, and then now we go to the second string, and that's supposed to be like a D. And that's also off. And it's kind of cool that the more I practice, coming from kind of like not having any music, um, like skill skills that I've slowly started to learn more and more, um, kind of like sound. I can hear, I feel like I hear sounds better. I feel, um, like what I went to, went to a show, um, and I was like, listening to the guitarist and I was like almost hearing the chords and it's like, Hey, I know, I know where those fingers go. I know, I know where to, how to do that sound, which is kind of weird and bizarre but um i was like yeah that's that's right all right so my a my d and the the third one's supposed to be a g yeah so, so these are all off i was uh once i tune it i'll i'll do a couple of sounds to show you what i was playing with and it's definitely i can definitely tell that it was off That's good. Um, so the fourth string is supposed to be a B. Now, all the string, um, your first, second, well, your sixth string, your fifth string, your fourth string, and your second string, you want to play on the fifth fret, uh, while the third string is played on the fourth fret, um, and then your first string is open. Your second and your second string played on the fifth fret, and the first. Oh, First string should both be E's. Um, the third string should be a B. Yeah, so that, that string's right. And then if I go back to my second string, fifth fret, I play that. Uh, that was also a little off. And then first fret should just be awesome, cool, cool. So now it's tuned. I need to tune that. Um, and then after tuning, that should sound like this. So now that we're tuned, I shut off my my little thing. I brought, gave myself a bowl of uh, fruit. I got raspberries, blue, black uh, raspberries, blueberries, and some grapes. All right. So some of the stuff that I've been playing with, um, as like I learned all the notes. I, not it's not chord yet. I haven't integrated chords, but you know who knows I might integrate a chord. But so like the first one that I was just kind of like, hey, this is easy, um, was. And I'm doing fingers, um, not doing, uh, I'll probably back this up a little bit. Give myself a little more. Um, so mainly fingers, I do have a pick. Uh, the pick gives it a sharper sound when I use it. And, but I think it, it's kind of easier for me to use my fingers. But I do have the pick and I have been practicing to get quicker. Um, my fingers have definitely been getting quicker, and I've definitely noticed the calluses increase on my fingers. Uh, never, as I've read or heard people, never play with wet fingers because of the strings. It could do more damage, and you don't want to do damage. Uh, all right, so there we go. 
what I started off with that one and then I started playing with another sound um, I was playing with <laughs> trying to get to the point where I can be really really fast with it like the kind of like a, I guess like a, a self exercise, teaching myself how to really move quick, be, rotating between each finger. And then, um, you know, kind of obviously then work more on my way into other stuff. I have a Beatles book for myself to maybe learn a Beatles song, one or two of them. Um, ideally, the idea would be to eventually maybe write my own song, kind of integrating my poetry writing skills. Uh, so for all my friends watching who know that I definitely write a lot of poetry, um, I've started to play with writing music and well, turning my poetry more into songs and singing and practicing a lot because um, I really, really, really want to get to that point where I can use this skill to reach out to Disney. So Disney, if you look back, and you see this first video, this is the goal, is to work for you, do voices. But, obviously in every Disney movie there's a song, so I gotta be able to sing and play. Uh, Alright, so the so those, those two, and then, uh, this is kind of where I started to integrate the pinky. Um, placement is really hard. professional by the forest like I said still learning <laughs> those notes I really like that melody so I definitely would love to integrate that into something um, but I can't wait to learn some more so those are kind of what I'm playing with um, I know you can't really I don't know if you can yeah you can, you can kind of yeah you can see where I put my fingers um, but hopefully I'm holding the guitar right as well with my left hand um, I know obviously you don't want to be like this, kind of be loose, um, you know, a palm kind of like underneath it and, and then also pushing, pushing down with the fingertips. Um, not like, not like, like this, like more like this, because then it's easier to kind of, kind of switch yet again. If I'm wrong, please tell me so I can learn. 
the correct way. Uh, so in the in the book um, on page thirty eight, I have learned a couple chords so far. Um, the M chord, the D chord, um, the C chord, and then so so one of them gets me because of the pinky again, because like the spacing, kind of like stretching out your fingers. I don't have a spacer. I don't know if getting a spacer is what I should do, or should I just continue kind of doing it without a spacer? But I mean, gotta do what I got. So uh, first chord. Obviously, I'm not quick enough with switching between all of them, but I'm remembering where to put my hand, uh, where to put my fingers. And obviously, the more practice I do, then the better I'll be. Um, but so that's kind of the catch you up on where I've been in my progress, practice. And so now it's time to continue. Uh, so 16 minutes in. Um, let's see. So the to play the this is train. That's in the book, so it's given me a couple of chords. Um, I have also learned the flats, um, the flats, and then also how long to hold the note for, release the note for, the type of note, whole note, half note, quarter note. Uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I think I just started learning all oh, the um, the ups and down strum where so say I'm, I play this note and I go down up down uh, down up down up those the connected notes. Still trying to remember the names. So musicians out there, don't attack me. <laughs> Fine. Right, that's supposed to be I have to look to my cheat sheet so I know exactly where to put my fingers because I know so it's boom, 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 bo
and then I go back to a G, then an E, back to G. Yeah, so G, 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 B, A, G, E, F. And then it goes B. Really hope that's that's not right. Darn it. <laughs> Trying to remember the sheet music at the same time as I'm hoping because that there goes boom boom boom. Oh snap, I think I'm wrong. I think my cheat sheet's wrong. I think I might have messed up my cheat sheet. Yeah. All right, yeah. So First, this is also the first time I'm using flashcards. I don't really use flashcards growing up, but I find flashcards for music is definitely helpful. So it's my chord position for my fingers and then the name of the chord. But I definitely messed up my cheat sheet. Um... You know, did I? I think I'm just psyching myself out. Yeah, I'm psyching myself out. That's on the sixth string on the four. So it's always good to refer back to the older pages just so I'm I'm on the right note. Right. Next. Playing chords. Yeah, that is a G. I'm right. So, um, B is open. But All right, so I was messing up. I was playing on the wrong string. I was playing on the string above when I should have been playing on the third string. So this actually should sound more like more like this. Yeah. So it's still G G. Yeah, because then the next one goes in the next string up. So, hmm. 
Yeah, so it's it's um so I got a whole note G. So whole note, half note, whole note, half note, then it's whole note, whole note, then whole. breaking down each note and slowly tackling it um it's like a slowly build up bar by bar so this one goes for those two is Half an hour, guys. Woohoo! I made it. Now, if you're still watching or gonna watch, keep it up. Da 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 da. So. Thank you. 
right. Uh, so this is a combination of the, uh, of the up down. Uh, so boom, boom. I think that's what that, that's supposed to, look, to sound like. So boom, boom. All right, so boom, boom, boom. We'll go back and repractice the three bars that I did. Uh, we're going to three bars now. All right. So. Even after going back through it, I still mess it up. All right. Um... So I made it through the, the four bars that are um, available. So I guess now I'm just going to keep replaying through it until um, I'm much more there. I should I should be at a better place than where I am. Um, I have been playing on and off, practicing and stop practicing, practicing and stop practicing. So I'd like to get to the point where I'm just practicing consistently. So doing this 100 day 100 hour challenge hopefully will get me to where i want to be obviously i intend on doing more afterwards but got to have a starting point so this is my starting point Thank mm -hmm. you. 
quicker. A little quicker. Still not there. Definitely could use a little bit more. All right. Get myself a little grape. I think it continues onto the next page. Um, now the next page is called Boogie Bass, and it's more um, kind of like strums. So right now I'm practicing this portion of it. Oh, not a bit, just a different practice exercise. Still kind of early stages. Uh, it, it also a Above each thing, um, I feel like this is kind of like one of those you play along, well, you listen to along, and then practice like the, the chord section. Um, at the moment, I don't have a way to play the song and practice the chords, so I've just kind of been I'm just practicing the, the strums. Um, definitely have to figure out how to... I'm sure once I get to the later lessons, I'll do more chord action. But right now, it's just kind of like minimum chords. <clears throat> All right, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I know it's supposed to be like a a full note. It's supposed to be boom, 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 boom. boom. So. <sighs> da 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 da. Thank you. 
Definitely getting there. <clears throat> so I'll probably just keep practicing this the this train section for kind of like the the duration of this. Um, only so I can really reconnect. Because I definitely learned these. I was doing well and then I moved forward and I learned the other strings. And that's when it started to get like more complicated with the position of the note. So now I'm trying to like, I guess the book is trying to teach me how to, without going back to the beginning stuff, kind of like reintegrate it and then slap some of the, the higher strings in there. Cool. Cool, cool. I messed up in one, mainly one part. Um, for some reason, like, my brain is in key with where my fingers are at the top and the bottom, but they're, they're jumping a string instead of being with the string. But it's good that my, my, where I position my fingers up here on the string is in tune with up here. So I guess my brain is connecting the thickness of the strings because if you haven't played in a guitar or if you're somewhat familiar, you know that the the first string is like the thinnest and as you go up string, it gets thicker and thicker. So how, how, is the, how the string feels along my thumb is also indicated along the tips of my fingers if that makes sense i hope that makes sense because otherwise i'm just making a fool of myself <laughs> uh, but hey who doesn't make a fool of themselves uh, da -da.
Mark on. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. Feels good. Feels good. All right. Do it again. on that not go definitely could have been better for sure i hope my uh, my funny faces are amusing yeah gotta love funny faces mm -hmm. not the right finger. Ugh. Yes. All right, cool, cool. Here we go again. Placement of my arm. It's probably not right. 
It's a little cold. Maybe it's a little cold in here. Cool. Mm -hmm. Anyone who's popped in, watched, thank you so far for watching. Um, I haven't really been paying attention too much to who stopped in. Um, it doesn't look like anyone said anything, which is, that's fine. Um, it is obviously the first time I'm streaming on YouTube. I'll be sharing this video and, uh, you know, hopefully next time people want to listen along, pop in, out, stay with me for the full time. An hour is a long time. I know I'm the one playing for an hour, but that's a musician's life. So my friend tells me that's a shout out to you. Joe, and you know, you know who you are. You're slightly responsible for the inspiration, just so you know. Just so you know. Um, obviously, all my other musician friends as well. You have given me input, and I've watched, and I've listened, and I'm not at your level, but I do aspire to eventually have more of an understanding, a closer understanding that you guys have. And some of my other friends, I do want to rock out with you guys. Josh, speaking about you, um, you and your beatboxing and mixer, I do want to play with you. So, to the future. Um, got a couple more minutes, and then uh, I'll call it quits for today. And then tomorrow, um, tune in tomorrow, and we'll tackle page two. Well, page 39, but for you guys, page two. So I practiced a couple times, definitely a lot better than where we started at the beginning of this video. Um, learned each measure note by note. Um, 
I don't personally know this song. There is also lyrics. Um, maybe I will probably look up the songs before I practice them and see if I can get an understanding of how the words are supposed to be sung. Because singing is also going to be part of this, though it's my own personal kind of goal on kind of like the side. But singing is definitely practicing the sing and play the guitar. M might be a little challenging, but I don't know yet because I know my brain is trying to focus on learning the notes and I haven't done too much of singing and playing. So we'll get there. We will get there. Um, anyone who kind of, I know this is live now. I'm currently live, um, but it's going to be up on YouTube. So rewatches. If anyone rewatches, thank you for watching. Give me a like, shoot me a subscribe, um, and follow my 100 day, 100 hour, 100 hour challenge. All right, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs>